Democratic vice presidential nominee Tim Waltz is all set to deliver the keynote address at the Democratic National Convention, introducing himself to voters on the biggest stage of his political career. This marks the third day of uh, the Democratic National Convention. These are the big updates uh, coming in. Tim Waltz is all set to uh, speak at the Democratic uh, National Convention. Tim Waltz will be speaking there. Uh, remember, he's of course been picked by Kamala Harris to be her running mate. Mendy Garg is joining us for more details on this story. Mendy, uh, how uh, soon is uh, Tim Waltz expected to speak at the Democratic Convention? Well, yesterday, you know, the Democratic uh, National Convention continues on Wednesday as in today as day three gets underway in Chicago with a focus on how the party's new ticket plans to for uh, a fight for, you know, American freedoms. And in uh, this, various discussions will also happen and various students will also raise their voices. And also, you know, uh, we all saw that how the second day of the convention featured an exuberant presentation of support for the Harris Walls ticket by the assembled delegates. And, you know, state-by-state state delegations rally around Vice President Kamala Harris nomination for President Tuesday in a ceremonial, uh, you know, roll call vote with prominent Democrats and celebrities like rapper Lil Jon and actor Eva Longoria representing their states. And third day will also will be full of, you know, uh, various uh, addressing uh, with the nation uh, and various discussions will be happening and various uh, stars also will uh, represent their states. And we all saw that how former President Barack Obama has also headlined the second night of the convention, delivering a spirited address about his hope for the future and an earnest tribute to his former vice president, Mr. Biden, while issuing stark warnings about Donald Trump returning to the White House and uh, various, uh, you know, uh, things have been said, and the night also included speeches from former First Lady Michelle Obama and Second Gentleman Dog M. Hoff, among others. And the most anticipated appearances from Harris and her running mate are still ahead. And uh, from the day third, uh, many uh, expectations are there, and various uh, uh, you know things will also various the comments and statements will also come out from the third. More day reactions, in fact, are pouring in. Let's quickly play them out. The whole country is energized and really there is a great momentum since uh, Kamala Harris, our vice president, uh, took as our nominee for the, the 47th president of the United States. It means a lot to South Asians. I am part of South Asians for Harris and also Sikhs for Harris. This really means to a lot, especially I have three daughters. You know, when I came to Chicago, one of my daughters said that if uh, Kamala Auntie wins this, this will mean a lot for, for my daughters are 20 years old. They said that it can be any, any one of us. So it really means a lot. The, the youth is energized. I mean, um, look, Obama was biracial, had a person, father from Kenya, mother was from here. It's no different. We've already had that. It's the difference is now it's Kamala. Father was from Jamaica, and she has from Indian as her mother. So this country is changing in this acceptability of the biracialness. But it makes a difference for us to be able to feel that there is somebody in the White House. So I have two daughters. Now, of course, they may not run for president, but I have grandkids that they can see as many of the people will say, I can be the president now. God made one blood type. I mean, several variations of it, but we have the same blood. She's got the blood of two continents. She's got the blood of the diaspora and Jamaican lineage and heritage, raised in America with an Asian mother. And so she is America in so many ways. Uh, she understands the culture of many worlds. Uh, she's a loving and a caring and a giving spirit of a person, and she's the most qualified at this time to be at the top of the ticket. Uh, when we talk about what was different then versus now, we've had a female to become a Speaker of the House. We've had females become the Democratic uh, nominees. We've had females to be in the Vice Presidency. Females have done all the uh, highest roles in government except for the Presidency. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.